All right. The moment you've all been waiting for. Here's brain drain. Ha huh? ha. Huh? Oh. God, kill me. Fine. Let's move on to the feature presentation. Totally fucking spies. Oh boy, this is going to be a big one. I'm going to do three episodes of this crap. Basically because one review isn't enough for my, for my closure. Because this thing ruined my childhood. But enough about me. I need to focus. So... This show was a French Canadian, uh, um, it was a French Canadian, uh, yeah, a French Canadian anime, per se. But I'd call it a pseudo anime or a in intimidation anime, because this is not anime. It is crap. Crap. Not only is it crap, but. It, but it caters to, but it, it caters to the fetish community, and I don't know that it's annoying, predictable, and downright irritating to listen to. Now, and yes. This is the first time I'm actually going to be showing fo footage from the show for these reviews because I know copyright is bullshit on YouTube right now, but this is one review that I want to make fully clear that I hate ho totally spies with a burning passion. But this is a show that can go either way for some reason. Some people hate it, some people love it. And some people are just in the middle. I'm like in the middle of being in the middle and hating. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about the show itself. Let's start with the characters. Let's listen to them. Probably just a bad case of stage fright. Yeah, either that or the buds are sucked out part of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha. Now, if you're through with the fun at my expense fest, I believe we're due for our mid-morning makeup check. Oh, no. Yes, that's their voices. The voices of Sam, Clover, and Alex. They're all part of the same Valley Hill Girl stereotype. Each getting a, a separate slice of the three slice pie. However, that works. Now let's talk them about them individually. So let's start out with Sam. There are a lot of cartoon chicks named Sam, but this one's the worst. Sam, she's basically the smart one, but only by comparison to the others. If you apply her to common sense, she's not really the the best in the reality department but in she's basically the smart chick in the show then we have clover she's basically just boy crazy every episode she's after a new boy and rivaling with mandy and mandy's basically their rival but also um clover is pretty hot-headed at times, I, I, I don't, I think she should see someone about that, but that's Clover, boy crazy. Then there's Alex, she's Alex, like, I, I watched like 20 episodes of these, of this show, and I can't pinpoint her exact valley girl time. All I know is she's got the highest pitched voice and she and she occasionally gets mixed up and stuff and is an occasionally in the spotlight. Then there's their boss Jerry. Jerry is he's kind of a dick sometimes. 
Yeah, he has the ability to summon holes to, to suck up the girls and bring them to him whenever he wants. Yeah, if you thought that was new levels of creep, you will wait and see. So that's pretty much the cast. Now, without further ado, I give you the story. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Brain Busters. Okay, so where we start this, this show called Brain Busters, where apparently this game show host is secretly doing some obviously secret plan. It's... So, what's basically happening is that he is trying to... To, um... Take the knowledge of well... No... Of smart people... To put in his assistant, Marge. Marge... Really, you, could, you, you couldn't blatantly rip off the Simpsons even more. Well, I wouldn't blame you. But... So that happens... Later on, we'll see why this matters. Can someone tell me who this next target will be of this evil plot? Hurry up, Sam. You're going to be late for your date with fame and fortune. Of course it's Sam. After all, this is a Sam episode. Uh... You're right. It's brain buster time. Um, actually, it's hair and makeup time. No girlfriend of mine's going on TV before she's camera ready. Weak Weatherdale! <laughs> Speaking of magic, I can't believe how real you look in person. God, there are so many moments in this where the girls are just blinded by other things. And as you can see, the same thing that was happening to the first guy is happening to Sam. Sam's knowledge is being drained by the machine without a friend realizing it. And after this, we are, the episode will get a little bit more interesting, but in like the worst way possible. So... This seems like one of the most cliched villain plots. To become smart with other people's knowledge. Well, it's not total cliche, but it just feels like a generic spy plot. Not one that I'd be proud of. Also, without Sam being the smart one, this whole series kind of falls in on itself a little bit because without Sam being smart, everyone is an idiot. Well, except for Jerry, but he's also kind of an idiot. Hey, what are you doing? How about saving you from total humiliation? This is the boys' bathroom. Forget my combination? That's like the dumbest question ever, Clovis. Clovis? Uh, Sam, her name is Clover. That's what I said, Allegra. After her friends finally realized that her IQ was dropping out of the second, they finally decided to go to Jerry to ask for questions and in info, I guess. So what Jerry does is... is... Give the girls some gadgets so they can go check out the other contestants that were on the show. And also, they call her now to explain about Sam. But here's the thing. It's not endearing. Okay. And here's what I don't like about Jerry being a jerk. What's newly modified about them? Glad you asked. This. So the girls arrive at some at the at one of the contestants' house. So they decide to investigate in like the worst way a spy could by ringing the doorbell. 
But I digress. What's really disturbing is what's inside the house. So they're getting access into the house and... Whoa! Looks like the prop had a little problem dressing this morning. I got my carrot on, got my bunny suit on. I'm ready for bum. Oh my god, it's true. Totally Spies did start the Jiffy uprising. So the girls decided to call Jerry while Jerry was working on trying to recover Sam. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they asked, How's Sam doing? Sam? Oh, well, she's... <gasps> oh, my. Oh, no. Pretty light. The smart one has left the building and now she is walking into oncoming traffic where in a normal situation she would get killed. Now let's throw logic out the window. Take caution to the wind. Yeah, see how I care. Yes, I do care. That's why I hate this show. It doesn't care about facts. And it's disturbing. Uh, maybe we should order. You seem kind of hungry. Meanwhile... Our Sammy's been brain drained. I knew a guy with teeth that white wasn't to be trusted. Wow, you finally figured it out. You could actually pass the first grade. Now... So the girls fight some bad goons. As expected. And the fighting's okay. And for the show, I guess. And then we cut back to Sam. Yeah, let's go, buddy. The lady doesn't know you. Oh, uh, no, no, no. You misunderstand. I'm Sam's uncle. Uncle, uh... Okay, I want to name a million things wrong with this. But he's a secret agent! So, as I was trying to say, and... Things have gotten even worse with Sam. Now we can confirm that Sam is now Jeffy. And the girls' time is running out. So Culver and Alex check in on Jerry to see how he's doing after a scuffle with the guy. But honestly, I don't care at this point. But honestly, this is really leaving me out. Because now they're all mindless idiots. <sighs> oh no. Welcome to Wink and Margie's soundproof booth of doom, ladies. First off, I could figure out your plan from the get go. Second of all, if this is real, this is a re this was a dumb plan to begin with. Third, go. Neither Clover or Alex could possibly have the mind power to beat you, but and they can't possibly escape from this, right? No, apparently. We're supposed to be rooting for these two when they screech like little girls and, and get into your psyche and penetrate it deeply. Oh, uh, so so he begins unleashing his master plan and, until the girls get an idea to get out. <laughs> Get ready to tuck and roll. Uh. Awesome. How did you old racquetball trick shot? We'll play sometime. I have several questions. How do you associate racquetball with lasers? Fucking idiot. 
Okay, the next couple scenes are just basically generic fight scenes and a chase. So all Alex and all Alex and Clover do is chase the t the two villains, Mart and Winky, through the the studios. Although the action is a little bit intense, it's still nothing compared to anything you can watch today. So basically, it's subpar at best. And that's pretty much it. They rest Hello, Sam? Are you there? <sighs> Clover? Alex? What's going on? She said Clover! Yay! Our best friend's back! Now all Sam has to do is regain her social life, so she tries to talk to the guy she was in love with before, but she rejects her from Mandy. Yes, she doesn't get the guy. How fitting. Half a brain is right. Mandy's about as sharp as a week old nail file. It's okay, she can have huh? it. I mean, really, who wants to go out with a guy who would fall for Jerry's lame, look, a three-headed man on a donkey trick? Oh, I don't know. You did? But, honestly. So the episode and the girl have a good laugh. And that's pretty much it. I hate this show. I still hate this show. Even after reviewing it now, it makes it even worse. Because it brings it back into my life. But, sadly, we're not done here. This isn't even the worst thing episode. There are worse episodes, and I'm tackling them next time. Yeah, because if you keep eating those cookies, you won't be a medium much longer anyway. <laughs> oh, ha, ha.